The time is now. Yes, the announcement of the year is here. We have secured the venue for the 2024 Air Hockey World Championships, which will take place August 2nd through August 4th. Yep, and we are excited that this year will be hosted at the Hyatt Regency Baytown, a waterfront resort right outside Houston, Texas. And this convention center has 8,000 square feet. Wow, that's a lot of square feet. Yes, Connor, it is. Plus, there's free parking, nearby restaurants, and more affordable hotel rooms. We are also hosting four events this year. Singles, doubles, a women's tournament, and the return of my favorite, the Junior Championships. Mark your calendars. March 1st is when the tickets are live. Don't miss this opportunity. We will see you there. At the Punk Island! Welcome back, everyone. I am Jacob Weissman here with Vince Seseda here at Centerline Showdown number two. And we're going to a match right now between Brian Cazada and Sarah Weissman. Sarah and Q. There we go. Okay. Here we see Sarah Weissman, my sister. 5'7 with a 6'8 wingspan. And she's right handed. Yeah, rank 33 in the world. An impressive ranking for this young up and coming female player. Also, let's take a look at the jacket thing. My name is Sarah Wiseman. I'm from Cypress, Texas. I've been playing air hockey, I mean, competitively since I was about 15, but I've played my whole entire life since I can walk and basically hold a mallet. When I'm not playing air hockey, I'm playing disc golf, hanging out with my boyfriend Jacob Griffith, hanging out with some of my friends. I read a lot of books, hang out with my dog, family. My biggest dream in life probably is to have a family, but to travel too with said family or even maybe before that happens. Air hockey has impacted my life. You know, when you're down in those moments when you're losing and you feel like, you know, nothing's going your way, just to not give up anything as possible. I think my strength in air hockey would be, I sometimes think of myself as just like this train that just keeps going no matter what's happening. If I have to play Nathan Buss in the showdown, I think it's gonna be a close match. I know I'll beat him if we have to play each other. Okay, so we know now that Sarah did not beat Nathan Buss, and now she's in the loser's bracket, I mean, up against Q. So it'll be interesting to see if she can beat Q. Now let's get a rundown on Q, see what he's about. 6'4", 77 inch wingspan, that's a huge advantage. All right handed, rank 11. And the highest rated player in this event, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Let's uh, take a look at his uh, package. My name is Brian Quesada, 44 years old, from Chicago, Illinois, and I've been playing competitive air hockey for just over 14 years. When I'm not playing air hockey for a job, I'm an analytical scientist. I spend time with my wife. We often go to new restaurants in town, theater shows, you know, Broadway in Chicago. Enjoy playing disc golf. Air hockey has really impacted my life. You know, I, I would say there's several. First, it's really the friendships. You know, some of my deepest, closest friends right now, you know, are, ever are through air hockey, right? You know, and then I would say, you know, really the com competition, right? So, you know, taught me a lot about myself. You know, a lot of players know this. Uh, back in 2013, I needed to have brain surgery that decompress up near the C1 area. You know, I had a lot of symptoms that affected my play. Shout out to my friends, you know, they're, you know, fellow players in Illinois who really pushed me to keep playing. And that was that was tough for me at the time. And, uh, you know, I was eventually able to go back to writing. And one of the things I've been working on is a little bit of my mental game, learning more about, you know, mindfulness and finding that flow state, that zone. I think I am going to win this event.
Alrighty, there we have Brian Kazada, aka Q, being real honest with us there about uh, some of the things affecting his game. Yeah, yeah, that uh, brain brain surgery is serious, and I think we're about to uh, get him started here. All right, we're underway to face off every game, I believe. Right? Yep, face off every game. Best three games right, out of five. Take your positions. Players ready. Lesson one by Brian. All right, he wins that. It's a good uh, energy already. High pace from Sarah. Yeah. That, force that uh, turn over there. Q going for the cut. Just misses it. They're trying a uh, weak wall over there. Ooh, another cut. Yeah, I missed. Just barely missed it. You know, it's interesting. I, ooh, Zero, Sarah's one. going a cut there. Great cut, yeah. I feel like both of these players, their last matches, we saw a lot of nerves. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if either or both of them kind of recompose themselves here. Right, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the, the lights and camera definitely add to the mental aspect. One, one. Great right wall yeah. over from you there. It takes an extreme amount of focus to be able to execute with this much attention on on your match. Yeah, absolutely. This is a setup that most players wouldn't experience until, you know, one. the final day of a world, some of the final matches. Right. I like, I like what Sarah's doing yeah. here. Taking her time, being methodical, setting up that cross beautifully. Three, two. Ooh. That's two in a row for yeah. you. Two right wall overs. He's deadly with that shot. Yeah. He can find it early. Three, Ooh. three. Yeah. Good shot selection by Sarah. Mm -hmm. Changing up, going with that right wall under. Four, three. Wow. Again, he is third. on fire with that over. Yeah, that third right wall over. Yeah, it's, Five, it's tough to stop that from a defensive standpoint. Yeah. Game oh. point three. Hugh is just on fire here. He is. Yeah, capitalizing on an error. Over. Sarah's puck. That'll be Sarah's puck. Sarah's got some fight in her. I, I mm -hmm. wouldn't count her out just yet. 6-3 is uh, definitely doable to come back. Yeah. If, as you would say, you just have to do it one point at a time. That's right. Yeah, one possession at a time. Just focus. Put all of your focus and attention into one possession, possession at a time. Hope for the best. Timeout called. Mm, good timeout there. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Because he started off real, real on fire. His his offense was clicking, and then and had a few Time. empty possessions Ready? there. In play. Game. Uh, all Seven right. Three. Brian. Cut straight to win that first game. Yeah, that's a cue staple there. That cut is very dangerous. One of the best in the business. Yeah. Wow. All right. So cues up. One game to zero. And I believe, what, one minute or two if they opt for an extra minute. Each yes. player gets to opt for a uh, extra minute uh, yes. per set. Yes. So if you're Sarah, what are you thinking going into this second game here? I'm thinking that I was able to score mm. and, and realizing that he did catch fire. Really, he came out He came okay. out just okay. blazing hot. Right. And right. and to get, what she get, 6-3, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she, was, she was, she was staying with him. Even while he was hot, so she just has to maintain composure and focus, and uh, try try to just maintain that uh, offensive level of uh, that Q's bringing to the table. She has to match it. Thank you. There we go, another face off. All right, take your positions. Players ready. Possession one by Brian. <laughs> opening Zero back one. up with that. All right. Yep, bread and butter. I like the way Sarah's pulling her arm and wrist back there. 
Yeah, it definitely adds to the deception. Ah, Sarah's fuck. Good block from Sarah. Oh, yeah, I like puck. the pace. Where our puck people go. Play. <laughs> Zero two. Is that another over? It looked like it was. Oh, Take a look at that one, again. Two. Oh, quick right wall under from Sarah. It's good. It, it worked because it was early in the trip. Beautiful there. right wall over by Q there. Yeah, he's, he's execute, executing that shot at a high level right now. He's got to see if he can maintain it. Like Sarah's pump fake there, she just inaccuracy on the shot. He was ready for the cut. What? Well, he went for that over. He missed it. Went wide that time. He tried it again. Doing some heat, ah, some heat okay. checks there. Then he would switch to the under. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was a good choice from him. Just flew off the table. Oh. I like the shot choice, but it's inaccurate, and but she gets it back. She does, yeah. Do what she does. Do. She went for that early release right while under. Yeah, she, that's she's good, she's gonna have success with that shot. Still one two. Stick with it. Play. Oh, oh, that was like a cross cut finish. What that look like? Yeah, let's take another look at that. Oh. That was not the shot I saw. But <laughs> yeah, that's some. Uh... Come on. I can't make mistakes like that. They happen though. So rinse and repeat. Forget about it and let them go. One, Ooh, four. A little forehand action there. Forehand left wall under, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two, Ooh, four. Right up. Great setup by Sarah there. Mm -hmm. oh. Two, five. Mm, where's that shot again? Yeah. It's like a cross cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like both players have settled down a little bit. Their nerves are are pretty calm now. And they look like they're being methodical with their setup and taking their time. It's great air hockey. Yeah, I agree. They both uh, look like they're in uh, what Q called the flow there. That's right, yeah. Ooh, almost pouring on himself there. Yeah, you don't, you don't like to see those. No. Two, game Ooh. point. Oh, keep chasing that down. Great transition. Three, yeah. game point. Hey. Yep, yeah, that string keeps yep. that puck in play. Sometimes they score on you. Mm -hmm. Sarah fighting here. Like you said last game, she won't be giving up. Yeah, no, she's trying to mix up her offense. She's trying to figure out what's uh, the most effective uh, plan of attack here. And you can see her shot selection. She keeps changing her timing and her release points and the the delays or the quicker releases mm -hmm. like she's trying to figure it out she's Find trying to call. figure out the puzzle Play. Oh. you just missing that over man again too oh self score there point. He's missing wide on that over. Good block. It was, yeah. Stay, stay disciplined. Oh, slow down. She needs to slow that it down. Not disciplined. There she goes. Five. Game Very point. good. Early release right while yeah. under. Yeah, she's going to need to rely on that. Miss 
that over wide again. Oh, that, that may be a face yeah. off. Five game point, your lead. Hey, Sarah winning that face off. Yeah. Oh, um, he's doing early release, yeah. right? Well, Brady, Sarah? Yes. Play. Oh, oh wow. wow. See what happens. Oh, oh. Six, Brian. Yeah. Hugh finding the cut to seal that game. That bread and butter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think, I mean, if I'm Sarah, I'm upset, but I'm not that upset. I mean, I, I have the momentum right now. She, she, yeah, she, she came back in that, in that game there and wow, ho hopefully she can dig deep. This is uh game three coming up here Yeah. and it's a best of five. So she's still alive and uh, she's a fighter for sure. Yeah. Still alive, but she has to start putting away some games to yeah. stay in this match. That's right. Yeah, yeah and we'll see if Q, Q's over starting to, to uh, falter a little bit. It's right. not as hot as it was in game one. So, uh, yeah. But that cut, though, Q's cut is... Uh, yeah, his cut is still hot. His it, cut's still on. And, yeah, And that's is. not going to go away like that over. Uh, or at least I don't think it will. Right. You know? Yeah, it's yeah, it's a much easier shot to execute yes, regularly. Yes. Yeah, um, I think Sarah, like you were saying, that early release right wall under is there for her. If I'm her, maybe I'm I'm looking for some more cuts to pair that with. Yeah, um, thinking about hitting a cut in the same area. Um, right. Yeah, she needs to start finding that second shot to complement. Uh, yeah, I agree yeah. completely. Yeah, because. You can't live well. I mean, I mean, you can live on one shot uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's a uh, cues right all over. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully she finds a uh, the complimentary shot here pretty soon. She's gonna need it. Yeah. But she's definitely got a, a, a an uphill battle. But I think yes. she can do it. She's she's got the potential to do it for sure. Yeah. And we saw that game. I think she was down six two. Yeah. She fought to bring it back to six six. Mm -hmm. So she's. I think she's going to come out swinging this game. Uh, I agree. Yeah, and that's definitely a momentum her way. Yeah. For sure. Huh. All right, we're about to get started here. Game three. All right, two games to zero. Brian, possible match game. Take your positions. Players ready. Oh. Interesting face off there. Yeah, it's. It's a little early, nicer. but... Off. Sarah's puck. Play. Left all over out of that diamond drift. I like oh. it. Zero one. One one. There's that cut. There it is. Yeah, and I don't. It, it's that. It's that shot that Q just hit. The first point Q scored. Two two. It's a beautiful cut from Sarah. It's like a cross cut finish. Mm -hmm. Three two. Ooh, there's a sort of a straight straight. Is that like right the, 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 the the bang boom. bang? Isn't yeah. Y'all call that boom boom. The boom but boom. Yeah. We can call it bang bang. <laughs> Four oh, two. And there's timeout called. It's kind of a weird. It's almost like a punch. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't really swipe through it like a cut. No, yeah, yeah. He was setting it up like you might expect a cut and then just hitting it. Time. Pushing yeah. it straight forward. Yeah, that was, yeah that's yeah. interesting release. Yeah, there he goes again. He's doing that uh, release. Unforced error from Q there, but he gets it right back. Uh, some off goals. That's uh, new here. I mm -hmm. haven't seen a whole lot of that in this match. Me personally, I love the off goal. 5-2. Yeah. It's again, he's scoring with that cross release. 
finishing on the cut side. Mm -hmm. Match point two. Hey, you up match point. Match point two. Sarah has yeah. to dig deep here. She did it the last game. Match. Oh, Seven two. Nice. Seven two hey. in game three. Congratulations. Alright, let me go in that. Okay, we're gonna get uh Q, Q over here. Um two. Uh, well that was a very dominating win. 3 0. It's challenging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Tell yeah. me about it. Yeah, so uh, I've only played Sarah kind of in pickup, right? I know mm -hmm. she has a really good right wall over, so that was mm -hmm. my first thought that really mm -hmm. shut down from her. Uh, she was just a hair off in that cut. I think it was there, yeah, a couple times. But uh, then, yeah, my offensive approach, I hit, you know, I think I had a string of like three or four right wall over, so I kind of tried to frame my right, offense right. around that. Yeah, the right wall over seemed really hot for you earlier yeah. in the match. Um, yeah, and then I found like that wolf slayer a little bit, mm -hmm. and so yeah. Okay, so how, how are you feeling? I mean, you lost your first match, yeah. but it seems like you were playing much better that match. You were really in the zone. Yeah, yeah, so even the first match, yeah, I, I kind of let the tempo get away from me yeah. a little bit, but uh, yeah, kind of just tried to stay kind of in that space between, you know, stimulus and response, right? Center yeah. of the hurricane and mm -hmm. Just try to, you know, always kind of refocus, recenter. Every possession is separate. Every defensive like battle is separate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like, yeah, you were in the center of the, the hurricane. hurricane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a. It's a one. It's from a book I uh, listened to. Uh, you know, just called the Mindful Athlete. That's kind of how he described the zone. Okay. So how how are you feeling now? How are you feeling going forward in this event? Yeah. I mean, I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's that. It's every possession one at a time. You know, kind of like the score of the game is going to fall where it falls. Yeah. Focus each possession separate, only that moment matters kind of thing. So, okay. feeling good though. Okay, well, again, well done. And Thank we you. look forward to uh, watching you yeah. play some more in this event. Thanks, I appreciate yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, all right.